it's just a little tiny bit heavier than the Glock 43 uh, and the uh, see the P365 Sig, just just a tad, not much difference. Okay, not much difference. So they're all essentially the, the same. The Ruger, I think, was maybe the lightest one in the group, but it's just you know it's like by half an ounce or something. So they're all kind of in the same ballpark, kind of the same size. They, they kind of fit in the same holster. This is a little thicker. Now, this is the holster for the SIG P365, okay? And uh, I'll put this in there. It, it fits, but it kind of swells out just a little more. I think it's a trigger guard that messes up more than anything. Uh, but it's about the same size. It's a tad thicker, maybe. Although I put the calipers on them, and they're really, let's see. Yeah, scale, yeah, that one fit. I was going to say, the same as a, the Glock 43. So. That's the same thickness as a Glock 43. Okay? Sometimes your trigger guard makes a, a little difference in that sort of thing, but they're all about the same thing. Let me uh, stack them here, too, just for while we're doing that. That's got some rounds in it, but nothing in the chamber. Let's see. Okay. There's the Glock 43. So you can see a very, very similar firearm, right? In size. <clears throat> the table's not perfectly level here, but you can, you can see there. That's about the same profile. Okay, let's put another one over there. How about the SIG P365 at the same height on the on the grip? Of course, you got a few more rounds in the SIG, don't you, for the same size. That's the claim to fame with that firearm. And the LC9S, you know, or 